In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use average ifs to get the average between two dates in Microsoft Excel. So here we have some daily sales data between the start of January 2023 and the middle of 2024. And you want to find the average daily sales between February 1st, 2023 and May 9th, 2023. So to do this using the average ifs, first you want to do equals average ifs. And one thing to know, um, there's an average if and average ifs. Um, the plural version allows you to have multiple criteria, whereas the non-plural version allows you to just have one. So that's why we're using the plural version. So the first argument is the average range. So what range we want to base on our average from. So we want to base our average on these daily sales data. And then common criteria range one. Well, what do we, where does our criteria come from? Well, we're basing our criteria between the start and end date, right? So our first criteria is going to be based on the start date. And then common criteria one, well, we want something that is greater than or equals to this date or something that is on this date or after. So we can do, and we can do greater than equals that. And then it looks like it's the sum. One thing to note too, um, I, I, as you can see, I put the greater than or equal to in quotes. Whenever you're doing a cell reference in average ifs and you, you're having your, your criteria is based on a number um, or greater than or equal to a number, you're gonna have to have the these things in quotes right here and have an ampersand sign separating the two. So that way um, it will work. Now I'm gonna just close parentheses just to make sure this piece works. So now we have the average daily sales, for the average daily sales for anything after this date. Um, but we also want to have the end date. So we're gonna have the second criteria right here. So the criteria range two, our second criteria is also gonna be based on the date. So it's gonna be this range of dates right here. And we're going to have it be less than or equal to this date right here in close parentheses. As you can see, our average sales between February 1st, 2023, and May 9th, 2023 is $270.76. One thing to note too, um, I just, uh, one thing to note too that you have to be careful with is that greater than or equal to versus just greater than. You know, make sure you're thinking of your logic right because some because you might risk double counting things if you don't. Um, you have something that I've done before, personally. Uh, also, too, also too, having them in quotes and celebrated by the ampersand sign. And one last thought too, at least for me, whenever I'm doing an average ifs with multiple criteria, I like to make sure that each criteria works when it comes to stuff like this before I go ahead and make the final thing. So that way, if for some reason something's not working like I think it should, then it's easier to track down exactly what that is. But I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.